everybody, and thanks for joining us for another Whitfield food review recipe copycat video. We are going to recreate Taco Bell's once here, then gone again, then once here again, then gone again. They're, it's not a taquito, it's a rolled taco. What's the difference, you ask? What's the difference? Huh? <laughs> you don't take hints very well. I didn't know you were trying to give me a but hint. The difference is that Taco Bell makes rolled tacos. That's the difference. For a while, then gone, and they brought it back, and just now I think they removed it again. So you know what? Taco Bell, we're done with your little rolled taco games. The spicy ranch, it's the guacamole, and it's the salsa. So we're gonna make those two. Some more from scratch than others. Oh, and the queso. So we're gonna have five dipping sauces. And you're gonna learn how to make that. Let's get into it. The taquitos themselves only take a few minutes, so we're gonna do them salsas first. Like I said, some are easy and others, like, done. There you go. I'm not making sour cream. Sauce two. Done. If you really wanna get some ranch and put some seasoning in it, go for it. Now these are the more fun ones. Sauce number one, queso. One can of seasoned tomatoes. We went with Rotel Chipotle, a block of Velveeta-ish cheese. We're going with the smaller recipe, so half the can and half the block. If you want more, put the full can and the full block. Put it on medium to low heat, stir until it kind of, well, looks like this. Boom, yo quiero queso. Okay, I've always sliced onions a certain way, but I decided to see how Gordon Ramsay does it. This is his technique. Peel the onion first, then slice long ways because he says, keeping the root will prevent tears. Who knew? Then make slices like this. Grip it like a tennis ball. His words, not mine. And make inward slices, then dice. And well, I guess I need a little practice, but hey, diced onions. Thanks, Gordo. And you're gonna need this whole onion because the guacamole and salsa requires it, so chop away. Now one whole jalapeno and green pepper. This is for the salsa. Remove the seeds from the jalapeno if you want less spice, but we want the spice. You need a quarter cup of cilantro for both the salsa and the guac, so go ahead and chop up half a cup. Dice one and a half cups Roman tomatoes. For me, it was six. Now take your cup and a half of tomatoes, your quarter cup of cilantro, your half a cup of diced onions, and your jalapeno. Add two tablespoons of lime juice, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of cumin. Pronounce it that way. And there you go, you got yourself some chunky salsa slash pico de gallo. For the guacamole, we're gonna go with three avocados. Make sure they're nice and ripe, go with a purple color, but more importantly, the feel. They have to be pretty squishy to the touch, but not so much that your thumb breaks the skin. If they're too unripe, you can stick them in a brown paper bag and let them sit for a couple hours. Believe it or not, this actually works. Slice them like this. If they're really soft, the pit will just pop out. If the pit gives you a little bit of problem, whack it with a knife. There you go. Take a spoon, push it firmly against the inside of the skin. It should pop right out. Keep doing this, now watch out for that little stem. If you get the stem, just pop it off. Now I like my guacamole a little chunky, so rather than throw it into a processor or use a hand blender, you're more than welcome to do that if you want it real creamy, I'm mashing it down by hand. I'm using a meat tenderizer. You can use whatever you want. In some countries, they call it guac therapy because you take your anger issues out on avocado. Now I just totally made that up. Sounded good though. One teaspoon of lime juice. This not only helps with flavor, it keeps it from turning brown. Add a quarter cup of those diced onions. Quarter cup of freshly sliced cilantro. I just like to say cilantro. Cilantro. Slice two tomatoes after the cilantro. Okay, I'm done. And then add all your ingredients to a bowl. Mix together, add all your ingredients to a bowl. Smash up some fresh garlic cloves. Slice, dice, mince, very small. You can also buy garlic pre-minced, it's up to you. Add an additional teaspoon of salt and you've just guacked. Ah. I hate the term guac. Just sounds stupid. Get yourself a rotisserie chicken. Take the skin off. For this, it's all white meat, so go ahead and take them drumsticks and thighs and use them for something else. And it shreds right apart and it takes like five minutes. 
Take a fork, shred it apart, and in five minutes you have yourself some damn tasty shredded white meat. And that's gonna take about six hours off this recipe. You're welcome. Get a frying pan nice and hot. Spritz it with a little non-stick spray. Throw that newly shredded chicken into the mix. Add taco seasoning. Now rule of thumb, it's one pound of meat per packet. So in this case, I'm only using half a pound, so I'm gonna use half a package. But ultimately, season to taste. And for half a pound of chicken, add about a quarter of a bottle of red sauce and a couple tablespoons of water. Let it reduce down and your filling's good to go. Now, rehydrate. And when I'm cooking my Taco Bell copycat recipe of a rolled taco and not a taquito, I like to cool off with a beverage. It reminds me of simpler times. Trader Joe's. Not a sponsor. Hey Joe, I'm available. Get your vegetable oil heating up. These are white corn tortillas. Mike them in a wet paper towel for about 35 seconds so they become nice and pliable. If you don't, they will break. Now take your filling. Now don't overload it. I know the first instinct is to like pack these son of a guns up, but if you put too much in, they ooze out and float away in the oil and it makes a huge mess. So keep it condensed right in the middle. Just roll it up, take a toothpick, do a little stitch in, out, in. And there you go. Now repeat this process until you're happy with the amount you have or you run out of chicken. Quick little spritz to keep it moist. Get your oil up to 350 degrees. Now add your taquito, I mean, rolled tacos. Now keep an eye on these because they will fry quickly, about two to three minutes. Let them sit and drain on a paper towel. Now let's sit back and enjoy the view of this gorgeous meal. Ah. There you have it, folks. A dinner mom butterfly cup of cat recipe of not a taquito, a roll taco from Taco Bell with all the fixings. Yes, ours are slightly different than theirs, but they're gonna be fresh and awesome. Guacamole, we opted a little chunkier with some tomatoes in it, stuff like that, rather than the real smooth, creamy kind. And I promise you, it's good. Salsa, more of a pico. Mm. The queso, they have straight nacho sauce. We went with more of a queso. The sour cream. Probably pretty close, as is the spicy ranch. But of course, the vessel of which you are going to transport all this goodness from a bowl into your mouth is the taquito itself. And I gotta tell you, the taquito is beautiful. They look very nice. And I'm washed out with my Trader Joe's beard, not a sponsor, which they were. Cheese sauce, because that's like one of my favorite things. I'm gonna go with big ol' big ol' heap and help load. Again, heap and help load. A big ol' heap and helping load of, I don't know, what the hell am I saying? Guacamole. Mmm. Mmm. The shell is absolutely perfectly light, crispy. Make sure you take out your toothpicks. Otherwise, you will be calling the dentist. Now, I saw recipes where they just put the chicken right in there and fried them. I think you need the red sauce. The red sauce is seasoning, like, instantly like taquito. Yeah, tastes like... Tastes like a taquito. I'm gonna try the cheese sauce. Mmm. Oh my god. It's so crazy how simple that is. That cheese sauce, you would just put that Rotel can in there, and it has a lot of spice and seasoning. You really don't need anything else in there. Let's try this salsa slash pico. Mmm. God, this is fantastic. The spicy ranch. I don't know what sour cream tastes like. Taco Bell, I just gave you a run for your money and then some. I didn't make a run for the board. I made you run for your money because I just out tacoed your tacos. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So either way, <clears throat> almost died on camera. What do you got? Almost a thousand views. <laughs> this is Whitfield's Food Reviews version of Taco Bell's Roll Tacos slash Taquitos. Whatever you want to call it. You can call it anything you want. But I, I guarantee what you will call it is dinner because this is fantastic. I highly encourage it. Again, you can make the chicken any way you want, but the rotisserie chicken is just such an easy way to go. And it actually it's really good. It ends up being cheaper. So that's our recipe. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you had, had yourself a good time and you're going to try this or you can, just, you can just hire me to come make it for you. I'm available for birthdays and Bob Mitzvahs. So thank y'all for watching. Please, I am I'm spitzing like a spitz. Holy crap. It's hot in here. It's winter in Florida and it's 80 degrees. 
and it's about 110 in our kitchen. So I'm gonna get out of here, have a beer, have taquito, have all this stuff. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, tell the world about Whitfield's Food Review because YouTube is not going to. You gotta hit that notification button. You gotta follow us on all these things. So when I post something, you're like, oh, he put a video up. I haven't seen him in a year. <laughs> I thought they had retired. No, I haven't. YouTube's just like, not today, guys. Comment below. We love hearing from you, all that stuff. And until next time. Eat. You know, we've never gotten in trouble for that, so I don't know if that's someone else's slogan. But we're gonna keep going eat. with it until we get a season. Thank you.